Hi, my name is Melanie, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Clever Cutter 2-in-1 knife and cutting board. I did want to show you how I received this product in the mail. Um, when I opened the packaging, this is exactly what the package looked like. And if you can see, there's no tape anywhere. So the packaging was completely falling apart. There's no uh, company name, no information whatsoever about the manufacturer, the product. Um, and then it was in bubble wrap, which is great. Um, but the instructions that come with this product were actually scrunched like this in the packaging it was shipped in. Uh, not the best first impression, in my opinion, but let's not judge the product by the packaging. So I just wanted to point out some features of the Clever Cutter. Um, it comes with a wall-mounted storage system. So let me just turn it so you can see. Um, it's just attachable with sticky tape, so it should come off relatively easily. And then the clever cutter just goes in like so for easy storage. It should also be noted that it is dishwasher safe. I'm not someone that uses their dishwasher, but I know 99% of the world does. So I know that is a much wanted feature by many. Okay, so I'm going to undo the safety. And I'm going to show you because it's actually a two piece because it's a knife and cutting board in one. So don't ever point a knife at you, but I need to do this to show you. You pull it apart so the spring comes out and then the knife part pulls out quite easily. Okay, And this is important because vegetables such as peppers are way too big to cut with just the, the clever cutter together. So what I just did to get the spring back, to put it back together, is I had to push it together as much as possible. So let's go ahead and start the product testing. I do want to note that it is quite comfortable in the hand and I've just released the um, safety. So I'm gonna start with the sprouts, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna have no problems with. So it seems that the knife is quite sharp and quite capable of cutting through things like that. It's moving the product off of the cutting board, um, which does make it easy to, continue, to continuously cut. You don't get backlogged lack of a better word. So then let's move on to lettuce. And it does seem because it's got the sprouts on it, it it seems to be getting stuck a little bit. It looks like I'm going to need to rinse this off in order to get the best results. So I just rinsed it off with cold water and see how the cutting continues. Still doesn't cut clear through the lettuce and it's definitely not removing the product off the cutting board. Um, I don't know if the camera shows this clearly but I'm actually doing quite a bit of the pulling when it comes to the lettuce. So uh, it does not do so well on lettuce. So now let us move on to the carrot. It's cutting this very, very easily, I'm assuming because it's a hard vegetable. Uh, does very different thicknesses. All right, so now 
I've gone ahead again and rinsed the, the clever cutter and I'm moving on to the asparagus. I like that it can do more than one asparagus at a time. Um, that's definitely a benefit. So now let us move on to the radish. I picked this one in particular because one of my concerns about this product is cutting small products and feeling safe doing so. Um, again, it's cutting the hard product quite well. It's cutting it very thin, which is nice. Um, I am one of those people that like very small, very thin vegetables in my salad. But I'm at this point now and I don't feel comfortable um, unless I dig my fingernails in, I don't really feel comfortable cutting any further than this. Um, so I'm going to stop right there because I don't feel comfortable. And if you're not comfortable, don't do it. So let's move on to the cucumber. Again, a, a hard vegetable, so it's doing it quite well. Again, paper thin, as you see. Um, it's removing it off the cutting board. So that's good. See, I caught my nail there because I waited. I took it too small. So that's a safety concern. All right, let's go on to some vegetables and fruit that are a little bit softer. So this is the eggplant. And cutting quite well, but I'm doing a little bit of pulling right at the end of it. So it's not going straight through the skin. I'm kind of doing the last little pull. Okay, so now let's try a mushroom. Again, this the size of this vegetable I don't believe I'll be able to go quite to the end, but let's just wait and see. Mm. Looks like you have to go a little thicker here if you want slices. If you like thin mushrooms, they're kind of falling apart. And again, no, it doesn't feel like it's the safest. I'm going to cut one more here and then I'm going to call it the day because I don't want a bloody finger. So that's the mushroom. Now let's move on to the tomato. Definitely fits comfortably within the width of the cutting board and the knife. And needs a little bit of assistance trying to get through the bottom. Um, this one's taking quite a bit of effort to get an easy cut. Um, I'm going to last one again and see it's, it's actually squishing fruit before it, or the vet, well, it is a fruit, um, before it even starts cutting. Actually, at this point, it's not even cutting at all. So, yeah, see. So I'm gonna oh, leave that. Little pepper. Um, see, let me do that before I rinse it off. The, uh, oh, it's a, this is surprising to me. I did not think it could do this. I thought I would have to take the clever cutter apart and use only the knife portion. But I can actually cut a pepper quite easily the way I usually cut a pepper which is right around the seed pepper cut seed core back to the 
side. And then you can start cutting. It is cutting the pepper again, which is a hard vegetable quite easily. Um, I am doing a little bit of the pulling to finish the cut. All right, so now I'm going to cut a banana and an apple. So let's go ahead and not a problem here at all. Cutting really all right. well. You need a little bit of strength to cut through an apple. So it is cutting quite well on the apple. So I know when we cut the tomato with the product as a knife and cutting board did not do well at all. But let's take a moment to test it out when it's just the knife. And it does quite well with that. So the knife feature alone works quite well. So is there a place for the cover cutter in my home because I do a lot of cooking and a lot of vegetable cutting and a lot of fruit cutting I don't believe it would be a good fit for someone like my mother who is a senior citizen lives in a small apartment eats very small portions it's a space saver it cuts quite well and is more than sufficient for what she needs. So out of a five star rating, I give the Clever Cutter a three. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with all this. I'm gonna have to whiz it up and put it in spaghetti sauce. 